Meanwhile, India's Defence Minister Rajnath Singh is visiting Chennai to assess the impact of torrential rain triggered by Cyclone Michong. He will conduct an aerial survey of the affected areas. With an eye on disaster mitigation, Prime Minister Narendra Modi has approved over $67 million for Chennai's integrated urban flood management project. According to the Met Department, despite weakening, Cyclone Michong will continue to cause heavy rainfall at isolated places for the next 12 hours. Rescue operations are underway in Chennai. Indian Armed Forces have taken over 3,500 people to safety. Indian Air Force choppers are providing food, water in the flooded and inaccessible regions. So far, over two tons of essential supplies have been de delivered. For more on this, our correspondent Siddharth MP sends us this report. Take a look. For more than 72 hours, a massive rescue operation has been underway in Chennai city and adjoining regions in the aftermath of the damage wreaked and the havoc wreaked by the cyclone, severe cyclonic storm Mijom and the resultant Chennai floods that took place after that. So to give you some perspective about the kind of rescue operation that's been underway, the Indian Army alone has rescued more than 3,500 to 4,000 people across parts of Chennai and predominantly across parts of southern Chennai. Let's also tell you that the Indian Navy is involved in evacuating people via boats. The Indian Coast Guard has been doing the same and of course the Indian Coast Guard and Indian Air Force have also been airdropping supplies, essential supplies including dry food and also water bottles to several areas that have been cut off, several areas that are still facing inundation. So as we speak, the Indian Air Force's operation is underway to airdrop supplies. So at least 2.5 to 3 tons of supplies are being dropped by the Indian Air Force. The Indian Coast Guard helicopters are also pitching in. They are also contributing in equal measure by airdropping supplies to cut off areas. Let's remember that large parts of the city are back to normal. The arterial roads are normal. It's possible to drive to the airport. The airport has been operational for more than 48 hours now and the airport is almost back to normal. However, there are several places in the city that still face inundation. On social media, there, uh, there is also public anger that's visible because people have been without power for almost four days in some localities. Water logging hasn't receded. They say that the authorities haven't done enough to clear the water logging and ensure that normalcy returns. So efforts are still underway. There is hope that in 24 to 48 hours, the water logging will be cleared up. But we'll have to wait and see how long it will take for the city to return to a full sense of normalcy. From Chennai, Siddharth MP, we on World